good morning. <laughs> it's now four o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it was such a beautiful day outside. So much so that, you know, I'm in my bedroom. My bedroom stays a, a little bit cooler than the, because it's the north side of the house. Um, so it doesn't get as much sun. But it actually was warmer outside today than it was inside my house. So I got a lot done today and I was out cleaning my car. I had my snow boots on and a t-shirt. <laughs> it was that nice outside. It was like 40, 47, 48 degrees. And, you know, somebody else might think, well, that's not really nice. And I'm like, <laughs> from the weather we've been having and when the sun's beating down on you, it feels great. It feels nice. It feels warm. So, um, yes, so I may not do a video, probably not the next couple days and not because I'm celebrating Christmas, I'm not, but I am spending time with my family. Um, now when I say I'm not celebrating Christmas is I don't have a Christmas tree in my house. I, uh, haven't bought anyone any gifts for Christmas. Uh, that doesn't mean that I am not receiving gifts tomorrow. I had somebody pose that question to me when I did my video, my um, Christmas is Antichrist video. And um, I didn't answer the question because the person was baiting me because uh, this person said a lot of different things and I'm like, look, I have nothing to prove and I could, and this person try, has tried to bait me before in different things and I don't mind. I, I'm up for the challenge to answer any question truthfully, but I'm not going to um, go in circles with somebody. Any event. So yes, I don't act a fool. I'm not disrespectful and I don't make an issue where it's non issue. It's not an issue when someone chooses to give me a gift on Christmas. So this is my second Christmas that, you know, I'm born again. I became born again December 7th, 2018. So this is the second year that I haven't celebrated. I spent time with my family and when a gift was given to me by my son who was six last year and he has a gift for me again this year, I'm going to gladly receive it because my son doesn't know Jesus Christ yet. That my ex-husband does not believe in Jesus Christ. He celebrates all the holidays. He indoctrinates our son in lies about NASA and stuff. And it's something that it's, um, it's wiser to not make issues that if my seven-year-old has questions for me, my seven-year-old son knows I don't believe we went to the moon. My seven-year-old son knows I don't believe we live on a globed planet. And he's asked me questions. And I'm very delicate and careful about what I say because I know my ex-husband contradicts me and I know it can be confusing to our son. So I do speak truth. He knows I believe in Jesus Christ and I just, I'm very wise about it. I'm not a crazy Christian that bonks truth off the head or acts irrational. I still have a sound mind. <laughs> you, you, you look out, uh, you know, if you're a watchman witnessing, you'll see the opposite of that, regrettably. 
but it was foretold. It was prophesied that that's the way it was going to be. So um, one point I wanted to make in this video is read your Bibles carefully. Don't jump to your own understanding. And it's very important to have a helper, his Holy Spirit, to help you understand and to help you um, know what's truth. So... Let me give you an example. I've had, I've seen more than two or three people get this scripture, this particular scripture wrong. And um, yeah, so I'm just going to point it out. I'm in Matthew chapter 24 verses 23 and 24. That's Matthew chapter 24 verses 23 and 24. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs and false prophets, and shall shew you great signs and wonders. Insomuch that, and here's the important part, it's, an, it's in italics too. If it were possible... They shall deceive the very elect. If it were possible, I've had so many people say that, um, that even the elect are going to be deceived and misled. And, uh, well, that's not what this scripture said. And this one's written in red. If it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. So that tells me that it's not possible. That those who have, that those who truly have his Holy Spirit. I'm not saying in my own walk, I haven't made mistakes. Of course I have. I'm not saying I haven't fallen short. Of course I have. Okay, this is strictly talking about false Christs, which is not just the Antichrist. It's also those who come in the name of Christ. I know when somebody is teaching a false doctrine. And false prophets. I know in my heart, I listen to the Holy Spirit when, if some, I know whether someone is speaking for the Lord Jesus Christ or not. As you can tell, it's like, you know, I, I've seen a lot of people say I've had dreams, I have visions. And I'm not questioning that you had dreams and visions, but are they from the Lord Jesus Christ? Are they testing the spirits? A lot of times, I mean, you'll just see somebody, I had a dream. I had a dream of the rapture. I had a dream of the, the tribulation. And they just jump on and make the video. They didn't pray about it. They don't have a relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ, a personal relationship that they talk to him every single day. So they don't, they didn't even go to him first and say, hey, was this from you? <laughs> They just get so excited and impulsive. And I can tell when somebody's acting um, on their own. Because those of us who um, who <laughs> I'm gonna say that I when I make videos. I don't, I don't claim to be a teacher. I just, I just say I'm a servant of the Lord Jesus Christ. I work out my salvation in fear and trembling. 
uh, I'm very, very careful because <laughs> I've made some mistakes and I left the videos up, you know, to show people my walk. Look, I have nothing to hide that um, I don't go and make a video and say stuff, thus saith the Lord, no way. <laughs> Because I have that healthy fear in my heart, I don't want to go and put myself out there and say that I am a prophet or a messenger and I'm speaking on behalf of the Lord Jesus Christ. I stick to this. And my walk, I'm very careful about the steps. Each step I take, I don't jump ahead of the Lord Jesus Christ. I stay behind and I'm very careful about what I post, what I say, how I say it, which when you see other people's videos and you see that um, they may be sort of boastful, um, a little bit arrogant, maybe prideful, because, you know, they, they just want to talk about their opinions in a video and then claim that they're a teacher. And they, 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 they don't have his Holy Spirit because they don't understand scripture. I've seen people say stuff like the five foolish virgins were unbelievers. And it's like, well, that's not true because all 10 of them were waiting for the bridegroom so if they if they don't know jesus christ then why were they waiting for him see what i'm saying it's very very you have to read these scriptures don't just read them once or twice it's like having a conversation with the lord jesus christ i've read scripture i've read the same scripture so many times and it's not like oh i've read that before it's when i read it i don't leave out words because see here's the thing when people said that even the elect are deceived they've left out the word the words four words if it were possible See how dangerous it could be just to just to leave out a, a few words and it completely changes the sentence. So again, and what's scary is some of these people call themselves teachers. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I'm just a servant getting to know my father through his word, through his living word. My sheep hear my voice and they follow me whithersoever I goeth. By hearing his voice, I read his word. I follow his word. I stick to his word. <laughs> word. <laughs> I hope everybody has a good couple of days. Um, Christmas is Antichrist. Don't celebrate it, but don't be weird and awkward when somebody says, I've had a couple people say to me while I was out running errands, you know, have a happy holiday. I don't really know what to say yet. I just say you too. I'm not awkward about it. I don't make a, like a fuss about it where they're looking at me like, what's wrong with her? I speak truth, but I'm just, I, I don't make issues where there are no issues. I don't step on people's toes or kick them in the shin saying, I don't celebrate Christmas. <laughs> I rep, um, excuse me. <laughs> I represent myself <laughs> like I had a dry spot. <laughs> It's important that I say I wa I wear the sweatshirt often. Jesus is Lord. I had someone say amen to me today when they saw my sweatshirt at the post office. Being a representative. 
I smile, I'm polite, I'm respectful, and I'm careful to show that I'm different, to show I'm not the crazy Christian that media, the propaganda would like to force upon people that we're haters or we're this or that or things that we're not. It's important to show otherwise by our walk, by our actions. So I love you. I hope I planted a good seed. I hope it lands on good soil. Uh, I love you. God bless.